Key for our start today's Retro Hub and Nintendo Wii setup guide. If you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a setup guide and it really helps out my channel too, which I'm always really appreciative of. So I've been doing a couple Retro Hub setup guides and if you've missed the initial setup guide, which I uploaded a couple of days ago, check that one out before you start on this one today. I'll leave the link in my description description for the initial guide so we're looking at Wii today then so first of all we're going to be using the very awesome dolphin emulator for this I'll leave a link in my description all you need to do is download the Windows times 64 just here once you've downloaded this you'll get an archive if I just extract the folder outside of here while this is extracts and what we're going to do is go into the retro hub folder and in here i'm going to make a new folder so right click new folder and call this folder wii and in the wii folder i'm going to just drag and drop a couple of wii games in here so these are both in dot iso file extension and if i then just close out of here and we can now delete that dolphin archive what we're going to do next just head back into the retro hub folder into the emulators folder and we're just going to drag and drop that dolphin folder inside now we need to open up dolphin first and just do some configurations before we actually head into retro hub so if we double left click on dolphin.executable okay so the first thing you're going to see is dolphin cannot find any gamecube wii isos or wads double left click so what we're going to do is just double left click and then we need to navigate to the retro hub folder so it's on my desktop and if we just scroll down retro hub and here's my wii folder with my games in it if i just left click on that once and then left click on select folder here's the game so let's just quickly boot up one of these games just to ensure it's all working Cool, so if I just come out of here by pressing escape, as we can see, everything's running fine. We got video configurations and everything else to look at, but what we need to do first is actually set this up so it's Red Spawn Retro Hub. So we're going to open up Retro Hub. Okay, so everything's all set up since my last setup guide with the same games. And we can see Wii just here. If I just left click on that and let's try and open Donkey Kong. So if we go to play. And of course it's saying no emulators were found. So we do need to configure this one. So I'm going to press OK. And I'm going to just drop down in the main menu to systems. Now if you've not got this, just press escape on your keyboard. This will bring up the menu options. If I go down to systems, right at the top just here, I'm going to scroll this down until I come across Nintendo Wii. And Nintendo Wii is almost near the bottom, so if I just select that and support extensions for this, as it says, are .ls, .isos, and so on. So as we know, my games are in .iso. And under emulators, it says we can also use RetroArch of this, but we're using Dolphin Standalone. So once all this is done, what we're gonna do next is go into the emulator section, and again at the top, we're just gonna drop this one down and we're gonna find Dolphin. And here it is, Dolphin. Now we need to set up the path so it reads directly from the Dolphin executable file. So we're just gonna to go to path and then at the end you're gonna find loads. If we left click on there, from here we're gonna just scroll down and we're gonna to go to users. And then into your systems folder, mine is Jamie. And then we're gonna to go to the desktop folder and from here, retro hub folder, emulators folder, dolphin folder and we need to double left click on the dolphin.exe and here it is so this is now linked up now we need to lastly go to save changes and then if i press escape to come out okay so all that's set up and of course we're also going to need some artwork for these games so again by going into your main menu by pressing escape we're just going to scroll up to scraper and just make sure your username and your password is put in. And if we just scroll down, let's just make sure everything's there that we want scraped. So I'm going to just leave everything checked. 
and just here we got one game selected select only i'm going to go down to without metadata scrape now and this is now going to start scraping my wii games and the reason this one isn't going to be scraped is because this particular game has got lots of different extra letters in all sorts going on so we're just gonna backspace this until we just get donkey kong country returns if i then go to search and here we go and then confirm okay i'm gonna do this with golden eye as well And there we go. So just go to finish. And escape just to exit out of main menu. Now we should have all our artwork and everything else we need. So if I go to open up a game again, let's go for Donkey Kong and play. Okay, so the game's running fine and everything's linked up, but our controls are a little bit funny. Of course, Nintendo Wii controls, the nunchuck, and the Wiimote. We need to configure this through the emulator itself to read from conventional controllers. I'm using the Xbox controller for this. So I'm just going to exit out of Retro Hub. So if I press Escape, and then just scroll up to go to Quit, and Quit Retro Hub. So we're going to go into the Retro Hub folder, into the Emulators folder, and into the Dolphin folder. And then just open up the Dolphin emulator. Now let me just remind you, Dolphin gets very few amount of updates. So to do this, just go to Help and check for updates. And in this case, I'm running the latest version. So that's just to let you know how to update the emulator itself. Uh, before we go into controllers, let's just take a look at graphics settings. If I go to graphics here... Uh, we got back ends just here, so normally this works straight out of the box with uh, default of Direct 3D 11. If you find games aren't booting or it gives you a black screen, try a different back end just here. And under adapter, I'm going to keep my graphics card, which is the RTX selected, which is going to give it more power. Aspect ratio just here, this is going to be set to 4x3, which is the original aspect ratio for Nintendo Wii games. If we put it to something like 416 by 9 or stretch to window, it will literally stretch. And in some cases, the games might look worse than others. So that's worth experimenting with. Also, make sure V-Sync is on. This will take away any screen tear. And also make sure start into full screen is on. So once we boot a game up through Retro Hub, it will literally open up in full screen rather than annoying window mode. Other things we can look at here is enhancements. So internal resolution, I've got this set to 1080p. By auto, it will literally give it the original resolution. But we can bump this up to 1080p and even up to 8K if you wish. But just be prepared for your games to lag a little bit, especially if your computer isn't up to the job. I'm going to leave this to 1080p. We also got anti-aliasing just here, which is a lot like internal resolution. The further up you go with this, the more strain and wear and tear it's going to put on your processor and GPU. So just be modest and just like the internal resolution, even if you can put this up one, then it's still a benefit and it's still going to look better than the original hardware itself. We got other options here. We got the widescreen hack, but like it says just here, it results game to game. It can often um, cause games to look bad, like really bad. Uh, we got other things here, such as the advanced option where we can show FPS, how fast the game's running at. So we're going to leave it for there for now. And let's take a look at controllers. If we go into controllers, what we're going to do just here is just go down to emulate the Wii's Bluetooth adapter. If I go to emulate its Wii remote, I'm going to go to configure. And under devices at the top, you'll notice it says Google Stadia. I'm going to change this over to my Xbox controller. And just here, we can then configure the buttons from the Wiimote and the Nunchuck. Just make sure under extension, Nunchuck is selected just there. So it's pretty much just a case of going through your buttons and just pressing on each one, left clicking and then mapping it out with your buttons on your controller you use it like I've just done. And obviously you've got the minus and plus buttons and you also got the home button, D-pads to also map out. So like I say, just make sure extension nunchuck is selected just there. 
If we then go over to motion simulation, you can also see just here under shake, I've actually mapped these out as well. So in my case, full axis four plus is going to now be left click down on my left analog stick. So in particular games such as Super Mario Galaxy, it will ask you to shake the Wiimote. So in this case, if a game asks me to do that, all I need to do is press down on my left analog stick. As simple as that. We also got the point to configure just here. So obviously in Wii games, you'll need the Wiimote to point at things, to move things. So I'm using my right analog stick for this. And of course, we've also got the nunchuck stick, which you can find under extension. So you can also map this out as well. So for full details on correctly mapping it out, where I really go in depth, check out my Wii setup guide and that will set you up with that. I also recommend saving it. So if I put in this Jamie, for example, and then go to save, if I should lose my control settings, all I need to do then is go to profile and load up that. If we go to close, what I'm going to do lastly is just give you a little bit of a demonstration of actually putting this to a different aspect ratio. If I go down to aspect ratio and I put 416 by 9, let's close this down and let's open up again through Retro Hub. So this time I'm going to open up Goldeneye. Okay, so that's it for today's Retro Hub and Nintendo Wii setup guide. Like I said in the video, if you want more of a good explanation for the controller side of things, correct mapping, where I go pretty in depth, I'll leave the link in my description so you can check that out in full detail to get you perfect controls for, say, your Xbox or PlayStation controller. And like I also said at the start of the video, if you've not yet checked out the initial setup guide for Retro Hub, check that one out. And I also uploaded the Retro Hub PlayStation 2 setup guide. So, anyways, if you liked the video today, hit notifications, subscribe, and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. Also, join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.